Do you remember our friends Amy and Anne? We met them at our last Rejoicing Spirit service, and they gave us a lot to think about love. Well, today they are going to help us to think about another gift that God gives us, the gift of joy. They will be helped by their friend, Mr. John. Anne, you look sad. Is everything all right? No, I'm really, really sad. My Aunt Jill and her husband and new baby are going to move away, far away. Your Aunt Jill? The one who took us to Cedar Point? She's so much fun. Yes, my Aunt Jill. They're moving far away and I don't know if I'll ever see them again. Wow, that's really bad. And I'd be sad with you, but I don't know if we're ever supposed to be sad. What do you mean? Well, you remember in Sunday school, we learned that joy is something that all followers of Jesus are supposed to have. I'm not sure you can be joyful if you are sad. I don't know how not to be sad. She's my favorite aunt and one of my favorite people. Wait a minute. I think we could go see Mr. John. He might be able to help us like he always does. Hi, Mr. John. Hi, girls. How are you today? Well, we are a little confused. Anne is sad because her aunt is moving. And I don't think she should be sad because we are all supposed to show lots of joy since we follow Jesus. Hmm, let me think about that. Let's try this. Tell me of a time when you girls were full of joy. I'm full of joy when my soccer team wins. I'm full of joy when we go out for pizza. Those are really good answers. But the word joy in the Bible is even bigger than pizza or winning. What do you mean, Mr. John? Joy is bigger than happiness because joy means how we feel good inside when we remember that God and Jesus love us all the time, even when we are sad. Wait, so even when we are sad, we can have joy? And when we have joy, we can be sad? Yes, you've got it. And the best part is that the joy we have because we know that God and Jesus love us will help us to begin to feel better when we are sad. So it is okay for me to be sad? Yes, it is okay. Because even Jesus was sad sometimes. But he had joy, right? Yes, and it helped him get through it just like it will help you as you say goodbye to your aunt. Thank you, Mr. John. We feel better already knowing that God and Jesus will help us when we are sad to have joy. So Anne and Amy learned that we can have joy even when we are sad. We can have joy because we know that God loves us. And one of the ways that God shows us God's love is by giving us friends who will stick with us even when we are sad.